If you can't tell from some of my previous videos, I love pro wrestling when its characters and their motivations are real and relatable. There is no one more real and relatable in wrestling right now than Eddie Kingston. The Mad King's near 20-year journey to the national scene has been filled with missed opportunities and hustle. Eddie Kingston has never given up, because Eddie Kingston is relentless. I understand that this business doesn't owe you nothing, but I've worked my whole life! And I've got nothing but sorrow and heartache because of this business! Eddie Kingston got his start in Philly-based Chikara. After training in the Russell Factory with Mike Quackenbush, Kingston was unleashed in the over-the-top promotion. The world of Chikara was outrageous and cartoonish. The exploits of ants and ice creams gave the more grounded characters like Kingston and Brody Lee even more opportunity to stand out. Eddie's character back then is pretty similar to what it is now, a New York street kid trying to make it. Kingston has said in the past that the character is just him at 17, turned up to 1,000 notches. Eddie Kingston is real. He's a character that we all know at some point in our lives, so we believe in him. Eddie Kingston is a unique performer. There is no one that looks like him, that wrestles his style, and speaks so passionately in every promo. Eddie has been hungry for success from the very beginning. Kingston wouldn't be content to just stay in Philly and Chikara. Eddie knew what it would take to make it in the business, and that was to put in work. Grind it out from area to area. So, that's what he did. For the next 15 years, Kingston could be found with stints in AAW in Chicago, PWG in California, FIP in Florida, Progress in the UK, and many, many more. He would wrestle anywhere he could find. Everywhere he went, he brought an incredible realism. He's been inspired by 1990s All Japan Pro Wrestling. You can see it in his moveset. The back fist, the backdrop driver, the chops, the kicks. He's mastered it all from AJPW. Over the course of the last 19 years, the Mad King has become one of the greatest promo men in pro wrestling. His emotions, his dedication, his desire is all felt in his words. You can watch one Eddie Kingston promo and know exactly who he is and what he's about. I'm going to beat you up just because you live in. I'm going to punch you in the mouth because you're breathing. That's what this is about. It's about acting. Well, I'm a fucking fighter. And I've been a fighter all my life. And that is when wrestling is done best. You don't need to have followed his whole journey to understand why he is who he is. Eventually, Eddie would start to get some calls from larger companies. He'd have an all-too-brief stint in Ring of Honor, some time with Impact Wrestling, and in 2016, he got a tryout with WWE. None of those companies seemed to have realized the talent they had in Eddie Kingston. And those lost chances, being overlooked, only drove the motivations of the character more. The older and more experienced Kingston became, the more driven he appeared to become. His promos becoming more of a man begging for opportunity so that he can prove that he can rise to the occasion. He wanted to be given a platform to succeed so he can throw it in the face of everyone who said he couldn't do it or that he wasn't worth their time. In 2019, all of Eddie's grinding seemed to be paying off. He was signed with the rebooted Billy Corgan NWA, appearing on six episodes of their YouTube show NWA Power. Eddie was by far one of the major standouts from that show's brief run. Then COVID-19 hit, shutting down all wrestling besides the big two. Kingston, for the first time in 17 years, was out of work, and by the spring of 2020, was ready to hang up his boots for good. Then, July 22nd, 2020, Eddie Kingston made his debut for AEW, answering the Cody Rhodes TNT title open challenge. The internet lost its mind. The fans that had always supported and loved Kingston were finally seeing him where we'd always felt he belonged, on national television. Eddie's performance that night was so good, he actually got full-time interest not just of AEW, but also from WWE. 
Of course, we know he would sign with AEW, where he would go on to main event on TV and pay-per-view, and also become one of my favorite parts of Dynamite. The story of Eddie Kingston is the story of never accepting defeat, always driving forward, not allowing the doubts of yourself or others to get in the way of your dream, and to always be relentless. I'm Scott the Fat Mark. Thanks for watching.